Unfortunately, bad news for Le Mans Ultimate fans. The game now hangs in the balance. The game is for sale. The company that makes it Motorsport Games is for sale and they've just got rid of a load of people working on the game. As we understand it, almost half of the people working on the game are now going to be not working on the game. They're going to be gone, which is terrible news. What has gone so wrong? What's going to happen here? I think iRacing, by the way, are the most likely people to step in here and save Le Mans Ultimate. But I think there's some other brands as well that this could be a great deal for. So should you buy Le Mans Ultimate? Should you buy the DLC for Le Mans Ultimate? Let's get into it. Let's go start from the beginning. So Le Mans Ultimate is a pretty highly regarded sim racing game that's come out recently, fully licensed for the World Endurance Championship, developed and published by Motorsport Games. So Motorsport Games, I've been reporting on them for four years now on this channel. And I remember four years ago, Motorsport Games had the exclusive license for uh, IndyCar, for NASCAR, for British touring cars, and for Le Mans as well, which meant for me I couldn't do the iRacing 24 hours of Le Mans because it was reserved for the Motorsport Games license. Motorsport Games also created a marketing media arm called Traction.gg that would report on Motorsport Games news. Wasn't really disclosed, if we're honest. Um, I made some videos on that. But yeah, Motorsport Games was just bay them off. In the end, they never produced an IndyCar game, so they lost that license. They never produced a NASCAR game, so they lost that license. They never produced a standalone BTCC game. And the one that they really put all of their money behind was Le Mans Ultimate. Now, Le Mans Ultimate did come out in early access. It was a bit controversial because it came out in early access, which meant that it was an incomplete game. And it did come out at a cut price um, price as well. And I bought the game personally on launch. A lot of codes were given out for free, but I wanted to buy it personally. So I bought it personally and it was very buggy and the loading screens took forever even running on my 4090 and there were a lot of just general glitches and stuff like that a lot of meme -y videos were made and you know the game got better really quickly and i had some great racing particularly in lmp2s online i really loved jumping through all the hypercars i really loved driving the gtes that are some of my favorite cars to drive i really started sim racing driving gtes ironically at le mans so that was great. And the game got better and better. And as you see the videos on Lemon Ultimate on this channel, I started to become more and more impressed by the game. And if you look at the latest video I made on Lemon Ultimate, I did with Nathan Maxman, pro driver in this rig, we were like, this is now a great sim. The the issue for Lemon Ultimate is I'm already doing iRacing. I'm already doing a set of Corsa. I'm already doing a set of Corsa Competizione. A set of Corsa Evo is coming out. And I'm doing Gran Turismo and all, all this stuff as well. Like, do I have enough time? To play Le Mans Ultimate and the conclusion we came to if you watch that video I'll link it at the end of this is that if you don't have a sim right now definitely consider Le Mans Ultimate but if you're already on the other sims uh, it's not maybe different enough to go for it now my advice on that is going to change because now the game hangs in the balance now clearly they haven't been able to make enough money and if you if you go on the, the Steam page now and try and buy Le Mans Ultimate on Steam if you want to buy everything it's a 60 pound game like, it's a really expensive sim racing game now. And there's all this stuff about the subscription model for some, some online racing and cars in the future coming, you know, being hidden behind season pass, everything. And, you know, the new GT3, is you going to be on more GTEs? Anyway, a lot of controversy about the monetization, but I feel like they didn't really have a choice because the team that have inherited this at Motorsport Games, and there was a big change at Motorsport Games, a lot of people, a lot of change in management and everything. And they, they got rid of a lot of the old licenses. And like I said, they really concentrated on Lemon Ultimate and they got it out in early access. But they needed to pay. I think they needed to pay for a lot of the stuff that they hadn't done before. And it needed to come from Lemon Ultimate. And it, because of that, they had to try and monetize Lemon Ultimate in ways that are a little bit more uncomfortable. I think if they could have kept this at a more budget title, I think you wouldn't have had any of the negative reporting about the subscriptions and the you know uh, DLC even early access and I think there would have been more goodwill behind it but I'm not sure they really had a choice or maybe they could have stuck to the gun and said this is going to be a 30 pound game and we're going to you know that's going to be a one and done purchase each year you're going to get all of the content you need for that anyway it would have been a different way of doing it so Le Mans Ultimate Motorsport Games up for sale that's officially been announced who's going to buy it I would be amazed if iRacing don't buy this they already picked up the NASCAR license. 
and the CEO of, of um, iRacing has been boasting online about how good their NASCAR physics and game is going to look, which is a, a dig really at most sport games, possibly. Also, I think IndyCar also went back to um, iRacing, if I remember. So you got that. BTCC was meant to come out, again, if I remember, as a DLC in R Factor 2, which is the other sim owned by Motorsport Games that's sort of been feels i mean it just feels like it's been put on the back burner because all the eggs were put in the lemon ultimate basket i would be amazed if i racing don't go for this at, at the very least to try and get the licenses so they might strip the licenses out of um out of uh lemon ultimate and just put them in in i racing which would be an easy win they've already got basically all the cars haven't they and they got all of the imsa cars as well and obviously there's the two tracks wc and imsa what about WEC? WEC could really try and buy this as well or do something with it because this is a great asset for their brand. And Le Mans Ultimate is meant to come out on console. It's meant to come out on VR. I never recommended people buy the game on the basis of those promises. I was always a bit cynical. I was like, this is an early access game. If you're going to buy it, buy it on the basis of what it is now because they're going to need money in order to actually develop and publish these things, these features. And they were, the people at the Ultimate were quite confident that the outside, I remember they said the sales at the beginning were really good. They'd made sales, sales in like 36 hours that, you know, was what they'd projected for 10 days or something like that. But obviously it hasn't quite materialized. So I think WEC could come in and buy it. What about, I'm going to say it, let me know what you think in the comments. What about EA? Honestly, I think EA would be all over this. They got F1 licensed. They got their WRC license. They bought that license in. What about adding World Endurance Championship? And then maybe they can have you thinking like Ultimate Team in like NHL and FIFA and um, all those games. They can start bringing in some sort of like monetization, some kind of as a service thing, you know, where you're buying cards of racing drivers. Maybe it's like a fancy element. Maybe you can get your top WRC drivers in F1 or your top WEC because there are so many famous drivers in WEC and it's one of my favorite things to do in the game is just drive and be immersed and see who I'm overtaking, see who's overtaking me. You'll see me, you see on my videos on Lemon Ultimate, it's like that immersion is really, really, really good. It sounds great. And the license deliveries and license names out the box. Whereas when I go in iRacing, you know, unless I'm going to boot up trading paints and do whatever kind of stuff, I'm going to go into a race that's not going to be liveried up and I'm not going to have famous racing drivers in my race. And it doesn't quite feel the same. So Lemon Ultimate has that going for it. So I think EA could be absolutely all over that obviously there's a big market on console for this as well like if this goes to console i reckon it could fill a pretty big gap if they can get it working and maybe xbox or playstation might look at that and say oh that's such something that'd be really cool on our platform that'd be a big differentiator to have a proper sim like that maybe it'll be a foil to either forza motorsport or gran turismo 7. so i think there's going to be a lot of interest in this game I think the team at Le Mans Ultimate have managed to get out the game as a proof of concept's too hard, but more than a proof of concept that it's a good sim racing game, it's a good platform, it works, and there's an engaged player base for it, and there's a passionate player base for it, and the people that like Le Mans Ultimate really like Le Mans Ultimate. And I like Le Mans Ultimate. It's a game that I, a sim that I enjoy driving, but it's in a very competitive marketplace. So, right now, should you buy Le Mans Ultimate? I've given you all the information I can in this video. It's up to you. I'm not affiliated. I don't have an affiliate link or anything like that. It is a fun sim, but the future of it hangs in the balance. What I'd say is watch this video here or here. This is the last time we played Le Mans Ultimate and just gave you our honest thoughts on like the state of the game and whether you should think about buying it. But yeah, Le Mans Ultimate, it's not looking good. I will see you. Please subscribe and I'll see you next time.